Chapter 1 The Mysteries of Sleep Sleepy Josh liked to watch the stars twinkle at night before he went to bed. He knew that sleep was important for his body to grow and stay healthy. But what he didn't know were the mysteries that happened while he was asleep. One night, as Josh slipped under the covers, his mom came to tuck him in. She kissed his forehead and whispered, Good night, love, sweet dreams. Josh closed his eyes, and his body relaxed. His heart rate slowed down, and his breathing became gentle and calm. His mom knew that these were signs that he was falling asleep. While Josh slept, his body continued to work in amazing ways. His heart, a superhero in his body, never took a break. It pumped blood to all his body parts, carrying oxygen all night long. And when he was dreaming, his heart rate could go up or down, depending on what adventures his dreams took him on. His lungs, another important body part, kept him breathing even while he slept. This was important because oxygen was needed to keep his muscles and organs healthy. As Josh slept, his lungs breathed in fresh air and then breathed out old air. It was like a dance that happened all night long. Speaking of muscles, they did some incredible things during his sleep. Some of them relaxed completely, like the muscles in his arms and legs. They felt like jelly as they unwound and rested. But other muscles were still at work, even when he was sleeping. The muscles that helped him breathe, called his diaphragm and intercostal muscles, never took a break. They moved up and down, helping him breathe comfortably as he snoozed. One time, while Josh was snoozing, his brain sent a message to his muscles to move. He was dreaming about playing soccer with his friends, and his legs twitched as if he was running on a field. It was just his muscles responding to his brain's commands. The same thing happened when he was dreaming about jumping on a trampoline, and his arms bounced up and down a little. His body was acting out his dreams. As the night went on, Josh's body cycled through different stages of sleep. He had light sleep and deep sleep. During light sleep, his brain was more active, and sometimes his eyes moved rapidly. He might even have dreams that he didn't remember in the morning. But during deep sleep, his brain slowed down, and his body got the chance to rest and repair. Deep sleep was when his body grew and built new muscles to make him stronger. Finally, the morning sun peeked through Josh's window, and he started waking up. His body gradually came out of sleep, and he stretched his arms and legs. Josh felt refreshed and full of energy. He knew that his body had done important work during the night, even if he didn't know all the mysteries of sleep. From that day on, Josh appreciated his sleep even more. He knew that while he slumbered, his heart, breathing, and muscles were all working together to keep him healthy and strong. So, every night, he closed his eyes, looked forward to his dreams, and embraced the mysteries of sleep. Question, how does our body react during sleep? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, The Gateway to Dreams in a small town called Willowville, nestled between rolling green hills and a sparkling river, lived a curious little girl named Lily. Lily had always been fascinated by dreams. She loved the way they transported her to different worlds, full of magical creatures and exciting adventures. Every night, as she closed her eyes, she eagerly awaited the moment when her dreams would unfold before her. But Lily soon realized that her dreams were not random events. They were often triggered by the events of her day and the emotions and thoughts swirling inside her mind. If she watched a movie about flying, she would dream of soaring through the sky. If she read a book about animals, she would dream of frolicking with them in a wild jungle. One sunny afternoon, as Lily was swinging on a tire swing in her backyard, she saw a colorful butterfly fluttering by. Its delicate wings seemed to dance in the air, leaving a trail of mesmerizing patterns behind. 
Lily's eyes widened with curiosity, and she wondered what kind of dreams a butterfly could bring. That night, as she lay in bed, she closed her eyes tightly and summoned the image of the butterfly in her mind. Slowly, she drifted off to sleep, hoping to be transported to a butterfly-filled dreamland. And just as she wished, her dream began. She found herself in a magical garden, surrounded by vibrant flowers and graceful butterflies that floated through the air. She twirled with them, feeling the soft touch of their wings as they brushed against her cheeks. Lily couldn't help but giggle with joy as she danced among the colorful creatures. As the dream continued, Lily realized that her emotions and thoughts were influencing the dream even more than the butterfly itself. Whenever she felt happy, the garden became even more enchanting. The flowers bloomed brighter, and the butterflies glowed with a radiant shimmer. But when a small cloud of sadness appeared in Lily's dream bubble, the garden lost its luster. The flowers wilted, and the butterflies turned gray. Lily understood that her emotions had the power to shape not only her dreams, but also the world within them. With this newfound knowledge, Lily eagerly awaited each night, excited to explore different dreams using her emotions and thoughts as triggers. She discovered that when she felt brave, she could conquer mighty dragons in her dreams. When she felt curious, she could unlock secret doors to hidden treasures. One night, as Lily lay in bed, her heart filled with gratitude for the amazing dreams she had experienced. She realized that dreams were like windows to her inner world, inviting her to explore her own emotions, thoughts, and imagination. As she drifted off to sleep, she couldn't wait to see where her dreams would take her next. So, dear reader, Remember that dreams are not just fragments of sleep but gateways to a world where anything is possible. Embrace your own dreams, let your emotions and thoughts guide you, and who knows what extraordinary adventures await you in the realm of dreams. Question, what triggers our dreams? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 3, The Language of Dreams In the magical land of dreamland, where dreams come alive, there was a young girl named Lily. Lily loved to sleep because it was during her dreams that she could explore the fascinating language of dreams. One night, as Lily drifted off to sleep, she found herself in a peculiar dream. In this dream, the world was filled with colorful symbols and metaphors. It was as if the words had come to life and were dancing around her. Lily watched in awe as the symbols twirled and spun, creating a beautiful harmony of shapes and colors. She wondered if each symbol had a special meaning, just like words, in her waking world. Curiosity sparked inside Lily, and she decided to interact with the symbols. As she touched one symbol, it transformed into a bird and soared high in the sky, singing a melodic tune. Another symbol turned into a key, unlocking a hidden door that revealed a magical garden. Excitement bubbled within Lily as she continued to explore the dream world. She realized that dreams were like a secret language, using symbols and metaphors to communicate with her. Suddenly, Lily stumbled upon a symbol that looked like a puzzle piece. Without hesitation, she picked it up and placed it in its rightful spot. In an instant, the symbol expanded revealing a magnificent castle with towers reaching towards the clouds. Inside the castle, Lily discovered a library filled with countless books. Each book was like a treasure chest, holding stories and adventures waiting to be unlocked. She eagerly picked up a book and opened it, allowing the words to come alive and transport her to a faraway land. As Lily delved deeper into the language of dreams, she began to understand that words could be powerful. They had the ability to paint vivid images and evoke different emotions. Some words made her heart flutter with joy, while others made her eyes well up with tears. But it wasn't just the words themselves that had meaning, it was also the way they were put together. 
Lily realized that sentences were like puzzles, and by rearranging the words, she could create new meanings and stories. With newfound knowledge, Lily started to experiment with words and symbols in her dreams. She created magical potions with a few words and transformed ordinary objects into extraordinary things. Her dreams became a canvas where she could express herself freely, using the language of dreams as her paintbrush. As Lily woke up from her dream, she carried a renewed sense of curiosity and wonder with her. She now understood that dreams were more than just random stories playing in her mind. They were a language, a way for her imagination to communicate and create. From that day forward, Lily cherished her dreams even more. She found joy in deciphering the symbols and metaphors, in exploring the endless possibilities of words. And as she closed her eyes each night, she eagerly awaited the adventures that awaited her in the magical land of Dreamland, where the language of dreams held the key to boundless wonders. Question, do dreams have a special language? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 4 Exploring Dreamscapes In this exciting chapter, our young adventurers Jack and Lily set out to explore the magical world of dreams. They had recently discovered that they could control and shape their dreams. It was an incredible power that they couldn't wait to practice and improve. One peaceful night, after a long day of playing in the sun, they lay down in their cozy beds, ready to enter the realm of dreams. As they closed their eyes, their minds traveled to a place where anything was possible. They were now in a beautiful dreamscape, surrounded by candy-colored trees that sang and danced in the breeze. With a burst of excitement, Jack realized he had the power to shape the dream world. He imagined a giant slide made of fluffy clouds. The slide curved and twisted, making them giggle with delight. As they zoomed down, they could feel the wind in their hair and the warmth of the sun on their faces. Lily, impressed by Jack's creation, wanted to try shaping the dreamscape too. She closed her eyes tightly and concentrated. Suddenly, the ground beneath them turned into a trampoline, making them bounce higher and higher into the sky. They laughed and shouted in exhilaration, feeling like they could touch the stars. As they continued their dream exploration, they encountered mystical creatures. Fairies with shimmering wings fluttered around them, leaving trails of glitter in the air. A mischievous sprite appeared, seeming as mischievous as ever. It playfully tickled their noses, making them giggle uncontrollably. With each dream, Jack and Lily realized that the more they practiced, the better they became at controlling their dreams. They discovered that by focusing their minds, they could change the dreamscape in extraordinary ways. Jack conjured up an enormous chocolate cake, and they devoured it, savoring every chocolatey bite. Lily, feeling adventurous, conjured up a flying carpet, like the one they had seen in a storybook. They soared through the sky, discovering new dreamscapes with enchanting castles and glittering rivers. The dream world was like a canvas, waiting for them to paint their wildest dreams. But as they were lost in their joyous exploration, they encountered a challenge. A thick fog covered the dreamscape, making it difficult to see. Jack and Lily knew they had to find a way to overcome this obstacle. Jack suggested they use their imaginations to blow away the fog, just like blowing out birthday candles. They closed their eyes tightly, focused, and blew as hard as they could. Suddenly, the fog lifted, revealing a sparkling dreamscape beneath. With big smiles on their faces, Jack and Lily realized that dreams were not just random thoughts during sleep, they were magical adventures waiting to be experienced. They understood that with practice and imagination, they could create and control these dreams. It was a power that they would cherish and continue to explore. The chapter ended with Jack and Lily embracing the wonders of their dreamscapes. They couldn't wait to close their eyes each night, ready for new adventures in their own created world.
Little did they know, their dreams were just the beginning of a grand journey filled with endless possibilities. Question, can we control our dreams? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 5 Unveiling the Power of Dreams Chapter 5 Unveiling the Power of Dreams Sarah had always been intrigued by the power of dreams. At night, when she closed her eyes, she would escape to a world where anything was possible. But during the day, she faced many problems that seemed impossible to solve. One day, while walking in the park, Sarah stumbled upon a dream journal lying on a bench. Curiosity got the best of her, and she opened it. Inside, she found a collection of notes and sketches that caught her attention. The journal belonged to a boy named Max, who seemed to have a deep understanding of dreams. Sarah flipped through the pages and discovered Max's insights about dreams. According to him, dreams were more than just a jumble of random thoughts. They were a window into our subconscious, offering hints and clues about our lives. Max believed that by unraveling the messages hidden within dreams, one could find solutions to their problems. Excitement flooded through Sarah as she realized the potential power of her dreams. She decided to give it a try and started recording her dreams in a journal, just like Max. Every morning, she would wake up and jot down everything she could remember. As the days went by, Sarah noticed something incredible. She started having recurring dreams about her problems. In one dream, she found herself standing in front of a giant wall, blocking her path to success. In another, she was trapped in a never-ending maze, symbolizing her confusion and indecision. Analyzing these dreams, Sarah began to see connections between her subconscious thoughts and her waking life. She realized that the wall in her dream represented her fear of failure, while the maze reflected her inability to make important decisions. These insights helped her see the root causes of her problems clearer than ever before. Armed with this newfound knowledge, Sarah began brainstorming solutions to her challenges. With the help of her dream journal, she could now see beyond the surface and understand the deeper meanings hidden within her dreams. It was as if her dreams were acting as her personal problem-solving guide. One night, Sarah had a dream about a broken bridge, leaving her stranded on one side while her goals and aspirations were on the other. This dream struck a chord within her. She woke up with a surge of determination and knew exactly what she needed to do. Sarah started taking small steps towards her dreams, gradually overcoming her fear of failure. She began making confident decisions, no longer feeling imprisoned by indecision. And little by little, her problems started to fade away as she embraced the insights from her dreams and acted upon them. Months passed, and Sarah's life had transformed completely. Through the power of her dreams, she had found the strength and guidance to conquer her biggest challenges. She had become a problem solver, armed with a treasure trove of insights that she unlocked every night. Sarah knew that dreams were not just empty fantasies that disappeared when the morning sun rose. They were tools waiting to be utilized, providing wisdom and solutions to those who were open to receiving them. From that day forward, Sarah never underestimated the power of her dreams and used them as a compass to navigate through life's obstacles. Whether you are a beginner or an expert at deciphering dreams, never forget to tap into their magic. You never know what secrets and solutions may be unveiled within the depths of your subconscious mind. And like Sarah, you too might discover the power of dreams to transform your life in ways you never thought possible. So, keep dreaming and embrace the insights that come your way. Question, can dreams help us solve problems? Check the video.